Hi, Michelle here, Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Glad you're stopping in. I had a really great time thrifting last week. Got a lot of goodies on the table. Can't wait to show you. ruby red tumbler at the goodwill for 69 cents and i was really happy to find it i'm sorry there was only one i don't have any in the red they're called whirly twirly and they're mid-century but i do have a whole bunch in the green i paid a dollar for this pyrex mini casserole i just adore my mini casseroles it's in perfect shape and it has a lid so it's extra special and the pattern is just simply called Original Clear. They made lots and lots of stuff for many years. I picked up this set of four with my original wood and nickel, and they were half price, so I paid $1.25 for all four of these. And they're Whitehall Green Avocado. And you've seen, um, I've had them before in other colors. I have lots in the amber, the clear, the blue, has some green, and then I had that really cool carnival glass one. These are the flare top ones. They also made them in a straight top ones. And sometimes people confuse these with Fastoria. You can tell the difference between the Fastoria ones and the Colony ones because the Colony ones are don't really have a stem. The Fastoria ones had a stem. These were produced in 1964 and the Fastoria ones were much earlier than that. Pick this up also for half price. I paid 75 cents for it at my first wood and nickel store. And you know, I collect these. It's vintage. I don't even know who the maker is yet. I haven't done that much research, but it is a cocktail shaker and it's the tallest one I have actually. And it's pretty cool. And it's in really nice shape. I got this nice Pyrex piece. I'd never seen the pattern before. Let's see, I'll turn it over. You can see it's Pyrex at um, my island thrift store. It was half price. I paid $2.50 for it. And you know what? They seem to be pretty good about having interesting Pyrex there. So I came home and I did some research and I found out that this piece does not have a name name, just a pattern number. And that's 473. And it was part of a set called the Buffet Twins. Came with two pieces, it did come with lids, and it came with um, the holder. I've also seen it in a really pretty plain milk glass with a blue and green flower, which I hope to run across sometime. But this, they made these in the spring of 1959, and it was a very short-lived promo. This is a milk glass canister. It came in a set of three, this is the middle one. And it's Harvest Milk Glass in the paneled grape. It was made by Colony, an Indiana glass company. I paid $2.50 for it, and I've never seen one before. They actually had the larger one there also, but it had a chip in it, so I had to pass on that one. They produced these in, in 1966. Pretty. I saw this at the Goodwill. It was $3. I got really excited. I love Fiesta Wear. As I have said in the past, I had a full set of it back in the 80s, which I no longer have. I'm trying to get um, a new set going. And I've been finding a lot of Fiesta Wear, actually, Homer Laughlin Fiesta Wear. And I've been finding out things about it that I never knew, even though I used to have it for years and years. And I did find out right here, if you can see, that's a QQB that actually stands for the month and the year it was made. This was made in 2002, and the B stands for February. And this actually is the last year, 2002, that they made this color yellow. I picked this up um, at my island thrift store with my wooden nickel. This is part of the 50% off um, stuff I had. I had some stuff in my last video. And this picture was made by Jeanette. And they made it between the 1930s and the 1950s. It's iridescent and the pattern is called Hex Optic. And a lot of people just call it Honeycomb. It's a 56 ounce pitcher. 
It's really heavy and there's nothing on the bottom. No marks. I picked this up with my new wooden nickel. I guess I'll refer to it as my old wooden nickel and my new wooden nickel. And I was really happy to find this. It's very, very cool. It's an advertising bowl for Babcock Home Furnishing Centers. And there's tons of them down here in the South. And as you can see right here, it's Anchor Hawking. And this logo actually dates this bowl to between 1982 and 1990. And like I said, I was pretty excited. A lot of people collect advertising pieces. And I paid $1.50 for it, and I'm sure I can get a lot more than that for it. Not only do I collect the Pyrex mini covered casseroles, I also collect the mini casserole dishes shaped like this. And I have quite a bunch of them now. They're in really nice shape. The iconic Cornflower Blue started in 1957, and I paid a dollar for both of them. Growing up, Anesco Birthday Girl, 1982. I sold off a whole bunch of them before, and I think now I'm on my third one of my new set. I paid a dollar and a half for it. I picked these up a while back at my wooden nickel store and I paid 12 cents an issue for them. They're 1981, 2011. They're 30 year commemorative uh, magazines of the space shuttle. And when you live right here, right around the corner from Kennedy Center, you do find a lot of stuff. And just the other day or last week, I picked these up. I paid $2 for the set of these at my island thrift store. And they're pretty cool. They're all different. They're Kennedy Space Center space shuttle ashtrays and there's a lot of interest now with spacex sending up a lot of rockets um kind of reawakened a lot of interest in the program and i think i'm going to try and sell this whole set off for about twenty dollars these are corral and corning wear in the fruit basket in the fruit two pattern they're both the same i think they just coordinate pieces i got a little lunch plate here it's in really nice shape. You can usually tell if the back's not worn. Uh, the front's usually in pretty good shape. And I don't think this one was ever used. And I picked up a few pieces a while back. So I'm kind of collecting them now. Whenever I run into them, I pick them up. And they produced this pattern between 1998 and 2002. I hope you enjoyed my latest haul. I always enjoy sharing them with you. And now for the moment that probably nobody's waiting for. But I had said that I was going to try and find a shirt to go with every video. And I'm having a lot of fun doing that. And I found this really cool set. It's got really neat pockets. And one of my favorite colors, it's jade green. And it is a two-piece set. And I paid a whopping $2 for it. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you real soon. You want to one? <laughs>